रॉबर्ट वदेरा जी ने 2007 से 2010 के बीच में तीन सालों के अंदर केवल 50 लाख रुपए से 300 करोड़ रुपए की प्रॉपर्टी खरीदी है कोई बिजनेस कंपनी इतने सारे प्रॉपर्टियां इतने सैकड़ों करोड़ की किसी एक जने को अपना ही पैसा देकर क्यों दे देंगे ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन टू प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल ऑल ऑफ देम है अप्रोप्रिएट रिटर्न एंड नो बडी इज अलेज एनी क्विट प्रो को और एनी करप्ट मोटिव Nine points of the game is being able to acquire contiguous pieces of land, and then getting getting it compacted and getting permission. The allegations against Robert Vadra and DLF have brought into sharp focus the dark side of Indian real estate, raising critical issues of corporate governance and transparency. Hello and welcome. You're watching We Mean Business. I'm Shweta Raj Palkoli. On the show today, we're asking if the real estate sector can be clean, cleaned up of the cronyism that continues to dominate and symbolize it. Let me introduce our guests on the show. We have with us Mr. K T S Tulsi, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court, Lalit Kumar Jain, President of Credai, also Ramishra Yadav, uh, Head Finance and Strategies, Orbit Corporation. Pranay Vakil, former chairman of Knight Frank in India, Sanjay Dutt, executive managing director, South Asia of Cushman and Wakefield, and Mr. Chandrasekhar Prabhu, a very well-known urban development expert. Thank you all for joining us here on the show. But uh, before we begin, let me go across and try and get a reaction from Mr. K T S Tulsi to the big news that have been that has been making headlines of the transfer of the I S officer Ashok Kemka simply because he cancelled the land deal between. Uh, DLF and Robert Vadra saying that the mutation was not legal. Explain to us the kind of impact that something like this really has, because in any case, we do know that uh, Indian real estate uh, isn't uh, known to be extremely professional. But when you have bureaucrats trying to follow the rules, they're simply shunted out. No, no, no. In this case, it is Mr. Khemka himself. who had requested the high court that he is being kept on a post which is far junior for his seniority he said he is a secretary level officer and a much junior officer has uh, ought to be posted on these uh, posts because if he decides anything in quasi judicial capacity his appeals would go to an officer who is 5 uh, uh, to 6 years junior to him so therefore the high court on the on the 1st of october passed an order in which it asked the state government to post an officer of an appropriate seniority now there are four uh, uh, posts that he was holding he it was a registrar of uh, uh, the registrar general of registrations the land acquisition uh, special collector then there was uh, there were two other similar posts but for the last 23 years i am told that all the four posts being related to the affairs of land in various areas have been held by a same officer so the work workload uh, in each of them does not justify posting a separate officer so he was transferred and when he is transferred he receives the order of transfer on the 11th on the 11th of october after that he chooses to pass an order with regard to the validity of mutation with regard to the land of mr vadra on the 14th so the question really uh, all that i am saying is that in this case the action of the officer himself seems to be suspect because he seems to be on the one hand himself requesting the high court and when he is transferred he seems to be either launching interested in launching a political career or he is wa wanting to manufacture a defense for further embarrassing the government by challenging the order of transfer or whatever whatever may be the reason how does one explain really that he was transferred 
40 that he times. chooses to pass this order. <coughs> he was well, transferred 40 times, 40 times over 20 years by various governments. I do not. The fact that yes, when it comes to land approvals, there are obviously big issues in the way these approvals are being granted to large builders. The fact that it is uh, well evident of the, the kind of cronyism that exists in the Indian real estate space. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, on that, I agree entirely with you that, uh, in fact, the Singur type of uh, situation can arise all over the country because each of the state governments seems to be misusing the provisions of the Land Acquisition Act, which primarily is meant for uh, acquiring land for a public purpose. They would acquire land in the garb of public purpose and then resort to the provisions of urgency under Section 17 and force the farmers to accept a much lower compensation, even after having entered into agreements with private companies. If you enter into an agreement with private companies, the land cannot be acquired for a public purpose. So the notifications under sections 4, 6, and 17 are routinely colorable exercise of power, and the farmers really get pittance for their land. The other phenomena which is rampant throughout the country is that even if for a particular project only 10 acres would be sufficient, they would acquire 100 acres. If 100 acres would be sufficient, 1,000 acres. You see the amount of land that has been acquired for Yamuna Expressway because land is the biggest resource. The other controversial thing which is happening with regard to land acquisitions by the state governments is that the land is being acquired, the fertile land, most fertile land is being acquired for industrial purpose even when since 1984 it is forbidden without a proper inquiry that fertile land will not be, will not be acquired for industrial purpose. Fertile land, the world population is rising and the requirement of the world for food grains is increasing every year. And what will happen is that if we continue to divert the fertile land for non-agricultural purposes, the food, food shortage will push up the prices of food grain and the poorest in the world will suffer and the poorest in the world are mostly in India. So therefore, okay, so these are very, very critical issues with where the state governments Right, right. The fact that Mr. Tulsi is talking about how land acquisition is something which is being misused by state governments. I'm going to get uh, Mr. Lalit Kumar Jain, uh, president of Credi, to actually respond to that before I also ask him in greater detail about corporate governance issues with regard to the real estate sector. But Mr. Jain, your first response to what uh, Mr. KTS Tulsi has said. No, first of all, let me uh, definitely mention that Credi has launched mission transparency. And we have been saying that we are victims of the situation and not the beneficiary. Now, why we say this? That maybe uh, one or two percent people may have access to power centers or power people. Uh, Ninety-eight percent of our developers are professionals, architects, engineers, who want to do their business in an utmost uh, uh, discipline and on long-term basis. Those who want to do business on long-term basis cannot resort to short-term gains through manipulations. And we therefore are advocating transparency. Having said that, when we talk of land acquisition, in fact, I like one very important point that he has made, that fertile land is being uh, destroyed. Now, uh, there has been Quoto and Barcelona summits on these aspects of urban development also. And where it is resolved that green land has to be saved is one, high density development restricting urbanization so that physical infrastructure becomes viable. So you achieve double objective. One is you save green land because we see that due to lower densities, what we are doing is we are expanding horizontally, which is destroying green land, which is also uh, risking food security. It is also the issue that your physical infrastructure is going costlier and people traveling long distances, two hours a day or three hours a day, have issues with their family uh, life. Therefore, we definitely need to address these issues. And when you talked of cronies, so my answer is very clear. 
that very few and exceptions are there in all businesses. In fact, if you see all the controversies that have happened, uh, there are other industries and sectors which have really uh, uh, come in limelight. And therefore, singling out real estate sector or uh, creating a stigma around this sector will not be fair because we, we are risking that disciplined people will go away from business and next generation we, of we, disciplined we people will not come into this business. So we must respect this We understand your concern, Mr. Yeah. Jain, but you yourself have launched a campaign where you're saying, you're telling all the developers and all your members, say no to yes. bribes. Just explain to us the kind of rent-seeking yes. that, that happens in the real estate sector. We understand you're saying you're victims, you do not want to pay those bribes, but explain to us how difficult it is to get approvals for land uh, or for your projects uh, by not simply resorting to rent-seeking, to paying those rents or those bribes for getting those necessary approvals. See, the issue is that we have to go to 48, 50 departments to uh, get our clearances. And there are 150 people in the process that you come in contact with. Now, every person knows that high capital intensive business like real estate can be stranded. Somebody can really have it uh, uh, or get into trouble if he doesn't sign on paper. Now, this is the whole issue of exploitation. And this is not, uh, you know, the current scenario. Unfortunately, this has been over a period of time. And the system has worsened day by day. So we are talking of transparency through one is single window clearance. And mind you, McKinsey said that in India, delay in approval cost customers 40% of their purchase value. So we are ultimately looking at uh, making affordable housing if we at least correct our system. So what we are talking of is single window clearance where there is no human contact and it can be developed through IT system. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.